You too. My name is Trey. Welcome to Work It Out Change. So this individual right here, you don't know him, but he has been going around TikTok for a video that he had made. All right. Here's the video. Now, one of the reasons I can't play this video is because I can play this video here. I can't play it on his actual TikTok anymore because some reason he made his page private, which is why I followed him because I thought this would happen. But I cannot get any of his videos to play on my phone, on my computer. But what I can do for you guys is play this through my own individual TikTok on my phone. So you can see what was going on in these videos. You'll only hear the audio. I apologize for that. But you'll be able to understand what's going on. So let's go back to his TikTok. You know, I'm not just going off of the comment you made here. So this video right here. Channel. This video right here. Okay. He's talking about how somebody said in one of his old video is not the vagina. Now, what brings all of this up? So somebody had put on Twitter, like I said, that this man is, uh, has a fetish for getting a vagina because he is a man who decided he wanted to get a female vagina. So I went and looked through all his stuff and I followed him because I thought he might private his page and he absolutely did. He even did some of these that are no longer there. So I went through and watched every one of these videos from the time he got the surgery to before he got the surgery to the time he lost his car, all the post op. And I can tell you right now, and we're going to show you the video that got this all started, but I'm going to tell you right now, based off what I've seen, this young man who is only 23 years old does not have a fetish for this stuff. But let's watch the video. Got this all cracking. Okay. So to answer your question, if I was born female, um, unless I had keyhole top surgery, I would have incision lines here and here to resemble top surgery which as you can tell i don't have that by the way this tattoo on his uh <laughs> this is how deep i went into his videos i know it when it's one that sticks out this is actually a tattoo that says human it's backwards and the reason he has a red m on there is to represent him because he believes everybody is special not at all so to answer your question i was born male um, I want to stay male presenting, so the way I am, you see me right now, it's the way I'm staying. Pronouns are they, them, but I'm masculine presenting. Um, so like I said, born male, I want to stay male, but all I wanted between my legs was female anatomy. Well, that's what I have now. I have, I have a vagina between my legs now, but I'm still male. So literally the whole time, all I wanted was to be a guy with a vagina. And now that's literally what I am. So I hope that makes sense for you. Um, if you ever have any more questions, you can either scroll through my videos to see if there's an answer for a same question you possibly have. Or I'll either comment or make another video like this one for you. So I don't mind making extra videos. It helps uh, get my message out there and everything else so that people, you know, I get more followers and whatnot. And it helps me on the path of becoming a motivational speaker. So the more you know. Now, that funny part about the, this video is that he said he wants to be a motivational speaker. Now, to you guys, that means absolutely nothing. But to me, who has watched all of his videos up to this point, even his old TikTok that no longer exists because he can't get into it, uh, he was, wants to be a lot of things. Not only did he want, now he's saying he wants to be a motivational speaker. There's a couple of videos if you go back. He wants to be a police officer. You know, he wants to work for the National Guard. He also wants to possibly be a mechanic. He wants to do a lot of things. So when he says be a motivational speaker, when I first saw that, I was just like, what? <laughs> At no point did you mention that before. But anyway, here's the video that I disagree with. I want to say once again, I don't think that he is making this a fetish. However, there's something that he got incorrect. I'm not just going off of the comment you made here. I'm going off your whole damn channel. Hold on, guys. You know, I'm not just going off of the comment you made here. I'm going off your whole damn channel. But I will start with your comment. That word right there? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I have one, and that's what it is. The only difference is mine was surgically made. Mine was made by the hands of another human being. It acts just like a real one, except for the fact that I cannot bear a child, and I do not have periods. But now back to my previous statement about your channel. My followers, check her out. Back me up here. 
Your channel is nothing but pure hatred for the trans community, calling us mentally ill individuals, and apparently we're indoctrinating your children. I'm sorry, that's where you are wrong. We are not indoctrinating anybody. For those of us who are on this app, sharing our stories, we are only on here to share our stories, to uplift each other and to support each other, and to also help others who are trying to find themselves, find themselves. Calling us mentally ill? No, we are not. We are just as normal and just as human as you are. And the fact that people like you are coming on this app and sharing stuff like your content, shame on you. You need to educate yourself. You need to understand our stories. Understand why we are the way we are. And I'm not saying that in a negative way. As a trans man myself, this is how I was born, being trans, being gay. I have a husband. I am married. This is how I was born. I was born this way. This was not a decision. We don't decide to be trans, and it's not a phase, and it's not something we do because we think it's cool or because we think it's a fab. My transition has sucked. There's been times I've laid in bed at night crying, wishing that I wasn't trans. Therapy hasn't helped me. God hasn't helped me. Nothing has helped me. My surgery did. But you making these nasty remarks, your nasty comments, your nasty videos, we're doing nothing but trying to live our lives as happy as everybody else. And it's people like you that want to do nothing but try to destroy us. We have done nothing wrong. We have no intents to hurt anybody. We are just normal human beings trying to live our lives in peace and harmony. That is not too much to ask for. That's how you want to live, right? You want your family to be happy, your kids to be fam happy, and for you to be happy? Why does my surgery affect your life? Why does what I do to my body affect your life? Please, tell me. You know, I'm not just going off of the con. Number one. God didn't help you? Disrespect. Absolutely disrespectful to say something like that. I obviously disagree with you saying that. That's a story for another day. No, the second one. You're trying, to, you're trying to leave yourself happy as we are. Here's a misconception that you, some of you people that are in the trans community don't understand. And I'm trying to get you to understand this. This false notion that all of us, just because we're not trans, that we're just living this happy, blissful life. It's not true. People take their lives every single day at an extremely high rate, and they're not trans at all. They're not struggling with just gender dysphoria. In fact, the people who are struggling with just the gender dysphoria, they're not taking their lives at a high rate at all. But for you to say that you're trying to be happy like the rest of us, quit doing that. It is so disingenuous that you think that just because we don't have gender dysphoria that we're living a happy, peaceful life, that absolutely nothing goes on in this world outside of having gender dysphoria makes us happy. That's an absolute lie because all of us go through stuff in this life. All of us lose people. All of us look ourselves in the mirror some days and can't stand to look at ourselves. It's very few people you'll ever even meet that are like, I'm completely satisfied with what I look like. I'm I love my body. It's very rare that you'll ever come across anybody who is completely happy with everything that's going on in their life. You know why? Because most people are just trying to pay their bills. Most people are living paycheck to paycheck. Most people are in debt. And most people do not like themselves at all. We all try to cope with self-love. We all try to make it. But we all more than likely wish we were somebody else. If you don't remember too long ago, you remember that beautiful model that couldn't stand herself and jumped off a balcony. She was a model. Still couldn't stand to look at herself. We just lost another bodybuilder. Aesthetically pleasing. Could not live it the way he looked. Because no matter what he saw, he thought he wasn't lean enough, so he had to stay as lean as possible. And he's gone now. That happens to bodybuilders, people who are aesthetically pleasing. You would never know what's going on in somebody's life. So for you to say, we just want to be happy like you are, you don't know us. You don't know anything about us. Just like you are wanting to live your life in peace, so do we. 
So quit always pushing that whole gender dysphoria makes you sadder than the rest of us because it's a flat out lie. We all struggle with our self-image. If not all of us, obviously, the vast majority of us struggle with our image. The vast majority of us are afraid to die. The vast majority just don't know what's going to happen after this life is over. The vast majority of us try to figure out a way to wake up another day and put a smile on our god dang face. So I absolutely disagree with you there. You're not special because you have gender dysphoria. You're not. You do have a mental illness, and that's something that you're living with. I defended you and said you don't have a fetish. I looked deeply into your story as much as you were willing to tell. But don't you dare come on here and tell me and tell the rest of us just because we're not trans, that we're living some happy, peaceful life. And now that you got your surgery, obviously your life is just going to be grand from this point on because you're trying to be happy like the rest of us. I got a sad reality coming for you, bud. Life is still going to happen. You may be very happy with what you got right now, but you're still going to wake up. You're only 23 years old. Life is going to go on and things are going to happen. And you're going to go right back to that mirror, look down and see that you don't have anything there. And you may go right back into it. You may go right back into the self-hate because you know why? You said God couldn't help you. Therapy couldn't help you. Only surgery could help you. And we know for a fact that almost a lot of the majority of these people, seven to 10 years later, are not happy. They still have insecurities. Think the biggest YouTuber we know that's trans, y'all know who I'm talking about, says she still struggles with insecurities. Even though they've been living their life as a man. Still struggles. So I'm sorry that you believe that. And I wish the best for you. But this is not going to be what changes the rest of your life. It won't be. It is an absolute disrespect for you to say something like that, that we're all happy and God in therapy couldn't help you only surgery could that is what's hurting people right there and you want to go and say oh well you know we're not trying to indoctrinate nobody we're not trying to do anything it's the same dang thing they say to the children you're saying that they don't want to go after the kids but i disagree because what you just said is the exact same thing they're saying to kids god can't help you therapy can't help you nobody can help you only surgery can help you and that is an absolute lie and it's a disgust to me I understand you're a young man and you don't see it yet. And you think you made some grand decision. Fine. But don't you sit up there and act like you're unso you're not self-aware enough to look into this stuff. You want to go out and get here on your tirade. You and your husband want to get on here and talk about how the brain is non-binary. I watched all your videos. You want to go in here and talk about us like we're idiots. But yet you couldn't do just a tad bit of research to see that there are people going after kids. And it's very clear you couldn't take five seconds to do that. But you were real quick to go get on this girl, this woman's female, this female's TikTok channel and go all over her and say that she only makes things that hate trans people. I went to her channel. I went to her TikTok and she's not doing nearly as bad as what you said. A lot of her videos have nothing to do with trans people. Nothing. So I, I hope that you can find peace in your life, young man. I really do. But you've got to be better than that. You've got to look into what you're talking about. You and your husband just open y'all's mouths and just spew the craziest stuff I've ever heard. And it makes no sense. But once again, I'll defend you as saying that the people who are making fun of you and saying it's a fetish, I vehemently disagree. Disagree. I truly believe that you had gender dysphoria, but I am not a psychiatrist. And heck, I don't know if your therapist told you because you don't go. But I don't know. Based off what I've seen, you don't have a fetish, but you are unaware of what's really going on in this life. And you are quick to disrespect people just because we don't have gender dysphoria. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm out of here. Bye.